Hello crafters and thank you so much for joining me. So this technique is a lot of fun and it's perfect for this time of the season because right now we currently have fall but you can do this in the summer and in the spring as well or to be honest you can just buy the flowers any time of the year and can do this at any time of the year. So what you need first is some kind of plastic. This was from an old packaging that I got at HomeSense and I just cut it out so that I have nice flat sheet. The larger the sheet the better and then you will need some watercolor paper and then you will need lots of different plants. For this video I'm mainly showing you the flowers and leaves that have been successful in doing this while doing this technique. Basically what I learned is that the juicier, the more water content and the more color content there is in a plant, the likelier that there will be a print left on a watercolor paper. So over here you can see I'm taking, first I'm arranging nicely the plants, then I'm putting my clear cover over it and then I'm hammering it down for a good couple of minutes. Now your neighbors are not gonna like you, so try to do it during the time that everyone is awake and not at night time. As you can see, the first try was so-so, and let's go on to the next try. Arranging, again, everything needs to be face down. So the flower is facing down, and so are the leaves. Like their main colorful part is facing down towards the paper, so that when you open it up, see how you can already tell? And sometimes you actually need to take off the petals which is a lot of fun to do. This turned out amazing. Uh, you can definitely see the flowers and you can see the greenery. Over here, I actually hammered down the flower even before hammering it down onto the paper so that it's a bit flatter. And I had a couple of other leaves. I was hoping this would do well because the flower is nice and bright yellow. Here is the result. As you can see, the result is pretty bad. So <laughs> it's uh, I actually like the flattened flower over there more than the print. This is the next day. I went outside and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to find some flowers. Most of these flowers were found on the floor so that I didn't need to actually, you know, take them. So these kind of cute petals in purple color. Uh, again, the darker the color, the more are the chances that the color is going to bleed through onto the paper. And yes, the purple color did work really well. Look how cool. It just becomes a really cool texture. And it's totally natural, which is another kind of benefit. And what can you do with these things? You can make postcards out of it. You can simply just enjoy the visual. You can put it in a frame and hang it on a wall. We right now actually have the dandelions, it's kind of like their season even though it's fall time. So there will be tons of dandelions in the spring too, so if you're watching this in the spring it will be another great flower to do. Just hammering it all down, removing any kind of petals. The yellow worked really well. The green for some reason it was just kind of wet stains. So maybe you can take paint and kind of finish up the, uh, the greenery. These purple flowers are so pretty and I had to flatten them down and then put my transparent sheet and here's the result. Again, love how it is on the actual transparent sheet and the print is great as well. This darker leaf, I was hoping it will be amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so dark, it's gonna get really great results. The results are interesting, so they're not as great as I was hoping for, but you can see all of the lines, all of the thick lines. Uh, another similar leaf, so this time I actually flipped the leaf so that it's upwards and the lines are down, hoping that the those main lines are going to be darker, and you know what, it worked well too. So to be honest, I feel like it doesn't really matter if, if it's the front of the leaf or the bottom of the leaf, it will bleed through some of it for sure. So here are all of the cards together. I think you get the idea of this technique. It's very easy and a lot of fun to do and you get to experiment and just have a lot of fun. Please subscribe, like and share to this channel if you enjoy my work. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.